Welcome Whiskey Aficionados, I'm Trevor, this is Review 18. Uh, tonight we're going to look at a, a bit of an icon, Cutty Sark, Scotch blended whiskey. Um, this particular one, I've got a little sample here. Um, as I say, it's iconic branded, but it's not actually that easy to get, um, especially in Australia and New Zealand. It's a big seller, I believe, in the USA, uh, Europe. Um, it's bottled at 43%. So, and um, there's quite a lot of different sort of whiskies in there. The youngest of which in this one is 18 years old, of course. Grain whiskies, malt whiskies. Um, so there's a good balance. And um, yeah, well, let's give it a bit of a try. That's about uh, 50, 50 mils, so it's enough for two samples. It's a very nice uh, golden amber type of uh, color, um, not too dark, I'd say medium colored for a whiskey. Um, it does seem to be actually clinging on quite well to the sides, which suggests it's got some decent texture happening in there. This was uh, made available actually since um, 1927, so it has, been, it has been around for quite a long time. And I do know that there's a big um, sherry cask influence in this one. So, bright, golden. Let's have a bit of a sniff and see what we get. Um, I'd say it's a vanilla. There's a vanilla, a fresh, fresh, bright vanilla. Um, it smells, it smells sweet. Maybe. Um, uh, Honey, sweet honey. That's very good. That's very very tasty. Um, you can taste the vanilla. There's a little bit of a um, little bit of spice happening there. It's fruity. Um, it is a light uh, sort of whiskey. There's certainly no uh, nothing in there like peat. There's nothing in there like smoke. There, there is a lightness, a freshness, um, and it's sweet, so that's very nice. Let's try it with just a little bit of water. I'm not actually sure um, it needs it, but let's, let's try it and see. Actually, it, it seems to enhance the, the aroma. Maybe maybe it open maybe the water does actually open this out a little bit. Certainly getting that vanilla quite quite coming through very well. Water. Water in Cuddy Sark, 18 year old, enhances uh, rather than detracts, so that's that's excellent. It's always good to see the differences because sometimes you put water into a even a stronger type of whiskey and it, it destroys it. Sometimes you put uh, water into, into a whiskey that you think doesn't need any and hey presto, we've got something which is actually a little bit better. So a finish is short and I'd say there's a slight harshness but it's with the water it does uh, go away. So. I'm going to give this something in the region of 82 for the Cuddy Sark. Um, it's, a, it's a pleasurable drink. You certainly, um, if someone, someone gives you some Cuddy Sark or you see some Cuddy Sark, it's definitely worth having in your collection. Uh, if, of course, you can find it because it's not that uh, easy to find. Very good. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, we are, uh, I am putting probably two, maybe sometimes three reviews on every week. Um, some of you may have noticed that there's a few um, Aaron Distillery um, malts at the front here. I've already done the, the 15 year old, but next I'm going to have a look at this uh, Aaron 14 year old. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much to the whiskey shop, Bart Burgers. Um, the whiskey shop .co.nz. They're in Elliott Stables um, in Auckland Central City. 
And uh, if you take a, take a walk in there, you'll actually find between five and 600 different types of whiskies, ranging from um, something reasonably priced right up to remortgaging your house because some rare and collectible stuff in there as well. So we're gonna do this next. I have done that, and then we'll move over to the 10 year old in the following review. So review 19 is going to be 14 year old Aaron. So until then, be safe, drink safe, and quality over quantity every time. Cheers, guys.